I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA Division III, Division II, or Division I level. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help. With their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal House. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Huntington North High School. We are at Bob Strait Court on the campus of Huntington North High School for this edition of High School Playoff Basketball on SummitCitySports.com. This is the Class 4A sectional number 6 tournament, and the first matchup is between the Homestead Spartans and the homestanding Huntington North Vikings. Now, on our scoreboard, we've got Huntington North as the home team, but they'll be listed as the visiting team on the court here, even though this is their home court. Homestead will be the home team for this particular game. I believe they are the top seed overall for this tournament. Now, the winner of this game takes on Wayne in the second round. Semifinals to be played. Beg your pardon, the winner of this game takes on New Haven. That will be played on Friday night. 6 p.m. is when that particular game will start. This game getting to start around the same time. And we've also got another game coming up after this one. Southside versus Columbia City. Winner of that game takes on Wayne. And again, the semifinals are the next round, of course. They will be played on Friday with the first game at 6 p.m. and the second game at 7.30. The championship game is set to tip off at 7.30 on Saturday night. And, of course, the winner of this game will go on to regional. winner of this tournament, I should say, will go on to regionals, and the regional tournaments will take place next week. In fact, there's a good chance that the winner of this tournament should see the winner of the DeKalb sectional. That's also part of Class 4A. There's a very good chance that whatever those teams end up being could see each other. We'll have a little bit more information on these two teams coming up, but first we'll get a word in from the first two of our sponsors. We'll get the rest as the night goes on, but we'll start with the first two sponsors that we have here at Summit City Sports. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Visit Kelly Automotive Group's brand new auto mall off I-69 at Illinois Road, conveniently located on Grand National Drive next to Menards. See the seven new facilities all at one location, and remember to visit drivekelly.com. Well, again, the matchup tonight is between Homestead and Huntington North. Homestead closed out the regular season on a nine-game winning streak. They're 19 and 5 overall, and they were sectional champions a year ago. That was over at Columbia City. And of course, the year before, these teams played at uh, Huntington North. They're back here again two years later, but 
Again, Homestead coming off that sectional championship where they defeated New Haven. They did not lose until regionals came around. Of course, Homestead has graduated a top-notch athlete since then. That's Luke Goody. He's over at Illinois nowadays, and I think he's mostly in a backup role these days. Who knows? That could change. But either way, Fletcher Lawyer, a transfer from the great state of Michigan, has really picked up the slack. And he was even the leading scorer last year for Homestead. He's the leading scorer again this year. I believe he's averaging over 27 points per game on the season. Now, aside from Fletch, there's a lot of guys who don't average in scoring position but have great talent nonetheless. You think of the Leaper brothers, Andrew and Grant. Andrew, a senior, averages 9.5 points per game. He is one of the top rebounders on this team. He averages 4.8 per game, whereas Grant Leaper averages 5.3 rebounds per game. Kyron Kapwicki is one of the top players in assists, top leaders in assists, I should say. He averages 2.4 per game. And this Homestead team defensively has only had one game make that, yes, one game in their nine-game winning streak where they've only, where they've given up more than 60 points. That was against New Haven, and that was in a win, by the way. But we are going to have the national anthem here at Huntington North, so we'll keep it here, but turn it over to the PA announcer and, of course, the, uh, looks like it'll be a student singing. They're going to have the uh, introduction of the starting lineups here in just a second. Before they do so, we will remind you that Huntington North comes into this game at 14-9 overall. Now, they lost four of their last six, the only wins coming against Lures and Marion. Losses to Carroll and Kokomo, but overall, it has been a good season, and Huntington North is led by a very experienced head coach. More on that in a moment.
Well, and as we had mentioned earlier, Huntington North is coached by longtime head coach Craig Teagle. He's got a record overall of 435 to 250. He's in his 30th year overall as a head coach. His career has led to stops at Caston, Knox, and Jay County. Spent the most amount of time at Jay County. Won five sectional titles and a semi-state title while he was there. Now, he did lead Huntington North to a sectional title in 2019. Now, of course, Chris Johnson has won plenty of championships as Homestead's head coach, but Huntington North is going to win the opening tip here. Looking for the catch and shoot. I think that was Hubbard. Hubbard's going to drive inside. This is it out to Austin Oswalt. Basket is good. Early bucket for Cam McCarver. Beg your pardon, that's Huntington North with a 2 0 lead. And this is Fletcher Lawyer. He's a Purdue commit. He'll be teammates with Caleb First next year. Caleb First, the Blackhawk Christian graduate. Who won Mr. Basketball in the state of Indiana last year. Oh, there's a baseline jam by Andrew Leeper. And Homestead has tied the game. Well, Andrew Leeper can do that just about any time he touches the basketball. This is Hubbard at the top of the key. He's the leading scorer for Huntington North. I believe he averages over 17 points per game. There's Hubbard with the three, and it's off the mark. Lawyers got the rebound for Homestead, and here come the Spartans. Kyron Kopwicki down the floor. He's going to be called for an offensive foul. And he hears it early on from the home crowd, even though Huntington North is technically listed as the visiting team. This is their home court. Again, we are here at Bob Strait Court on the campus of Huntington North High School. A foul is called on the inside on Leeper, it looks like. Well, Leeper had the early bucket. Vikings will have the possession. Tip in is good. Will Hotchkiss with the bucket. His father, by the way, is Jamie Hotchkiss, a former Huntington University assistant coach. He's also a, I believe, an Indiana State trooper. They work it around the outside. Leaper posting up, and he is fouled by Hubbard. Ball's going to stay with Homestead. That was the first team foul against the Vikings. Homestead's committed two. Entry pass in to Lawyer. Lawyer drives, puts up the floater, and he got it. Fletcher Lawyer on the board for the first time in this game. Probably will not be the last. He averages over 27 points a game. And here's Ashton Hostler across the timeline. He dishes that one off. Huntington North trying to get something going here. As they get the ball inside to Cam McCarver. He swings it back out. McCarver's got it again. Drive to the basket and a foul. It was Eric Hostler who drove to the basket. And we'll see who they get the foul on. I think it's going to be on Grady Swing. And it is on Swing. That's his first. So Zach Hubbard will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. He's able to hit his first. Second one rolls right off. Zach Hubbard with his first points of the game. There's Lawyer. Gets inside, kicks it back out. They got Lawyer down near the block. Now he's dangerous from the outside. He's also dangerous from the inside. Kopwicki with a good look from downtown, but he missed it. Offensive board by Swing. His shot blocked. Recovered by Leeper. And he'll fire from the free throw line. It's good. Good start to the game so far for Andrew Leeper, and he gives Homestead their first lead of the game. 
Baseline drive. Hotch gets blocked, but a foul. That's going to be on Leeper, and it's going to be the fourth foul against Homestead. I beg your pardon, that's on Grady Swing. Only one foul against the Vikings so far. Spartans, again, have committed four. Max Schultz will come into the game. Whistles blow, and it's a foul called against the Vikings. Lawyer will bring this one across the timeline. A 6-5 lead for Homestead. He gets the screen from Grant Leeper. Lawyer with a pull-up three, in and out. But Leeper's got the rebound, and he puts it back. That's Grant Leeper, the junior, six foot seven forward. He's actually an inch taller than Andrew, even though Andrew's a year older. A year ahead of him in grade, that is. And we've got a foul away from the ball. It's going to be on Grant Leeper. Foul occurred before the pass got there. That's already five team fouls against Homestead. We've still got four minutes and 12 seconds to play in the first quarter. No coaches used the timeout at any point, but the Vikings are extremely close to getting into the bonus. Hotch gets directing traffic, nearly stolen away. Lawyer battling for it. There goes Schultz diving to the deck. Who's got it? Leeper hustling after it, and that's a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to give it to Homestead. This is Schultz to put it in play. Now here is Lawyer. Fletcher Lawyer with just two points so far, but he's capable of scoring in big bunches as Hubbard gets the takeaway. Then he loses the ball in transition. Swings it back outside to Hostler, and the Vikings will set up in the half court. It looked like they were going to have a transition bucket, but here goes Hubbard on penetration, and he's fouled. That's going to be on, it looked like Grant Leaper, and it was. That's two quick fouls on him, and then the next foul on Homestead is going to put Huntington North in the bonus. This one was on the shot, so Hubbard's going to shoot two free throws. He's able to cash in on the first try. All free throws so far for Zach Hubbard. As Afani Izakudo will check into the game. Second one rolls right off, and Schiltz is all alone for that rebound. Hubbard's two for four from the charity stripe so far as they got Leeper down near the block. He'll come out to gather the ball. He's picked up defensively by Wyatt Dorman, but Leeper knocks down the jump shot. Check that. That's Lawyer. Fletcher Lawyer. His second made basket of the game as we've got 3.05 to play and a four-point lead for Homestead. But again, the Spartans have committed six fouls already. Extra pass to the corner. This is Hostler. Dishes it outside. Hubbard gets it. Homestead crowd wanted a foul. Did Lawyer poke that away from his back? Well, either way, Huntington North got it back. And I think that was Dylan Trout who forced the takeaway. And then there's a contested shot down low. That's Kopwicki who comes up with a loose ball. Back out to him. They got Lawyer posting up, and that's nearly stolen. Is Akuto lost it? That's over and back. Chris Johnson not happy with his athletes. And speaking of Chris Johnson, since he's been the head coach at Homestead, he has won four state titles, four, excuse me, four sectional titles, one state title. That was back in 2015. He also won two sectional titles at Bishop Dwenger. One of those led to a regional title. Current head coach Matt Kostoff over at Dwenger was an assistant under Chris Johnson. They go back outside to Trout. Trout. 
Less than two minutes to go here in the first quarter. This is Dorman. Gives it to Hubbard on the baseline. Blocked. Schiltz rejects it. They go back up top to Austin. Oswald rattles out. Lawyer's got the rebound. Here comes Homestead. Is a kudo with the fake. Contact made and a foul called against Huntington North. The Viking bench trying to suggest that that was on it as a kudo, but the official is not buying it. That'll send his Akuto to the free throw line. His Akuto couldn't get that first one to go. Again, the winner of this game will take on New Haven in the semifinal round at 6 o'clock on Friday. Zakudo's second try is also no good. He goes 0 for 2. A lot of free throws have been left out there. Zakudo goes 0 for 2. Zach Hubbard has gone 2 for 4. That is early in the game, though. We do have just a minute 24 left in the first quarter, and that's going to be a foul. We're going to call that on Huntington North. I could have sworn that Schultz knocked somebody down, and now they're going to change the call. It's on Schultz. And that would be the seventh team foul against Homestead. And that's going to put Wyatt Dorman at the free throw line for one and one. He's able to hit the first one. Wyatt Dorman on the board for the first time today. A minute 22 left to go in this first quarter as the Southside Archers are just walking that mezzanine up above the bleachers. They'll take the court against Columbia City after this game is all said and done. Here's his Akuto, gives that one up to Schiltz. Either team has made a three in this game. That ball's nearly poked away. Is Akuto able to find Lawyer? One dribble and a three. That shot's no good. Tapped right out to Hubbard. Hubbard, no numbers, trying to go one on three. Lost it out of bounds, but Homestead touched it last. We're in the first quarter with 57.1 seconds left to play, and Homestead has already put the Vikings into the bonus. Huntington North only committed three fouls. Will Hotchkiss will check into the game for the Vikings. They get it into Trout. Oswald guarded by Izakudo. Looks like Homestead might be in a matchup zone here. This looks like Huntington North might be playing for the final shot of the first quarter. There's no shot clock in Indiana High School basketball, so they can milk this down all the way to about the one second mark, maybe even the .5 second mark, but that's a little ambitious. Foul called away from the ball. It's on Homestead. It's on Schiltz. With 19.4 seconds to go. And that's going to put Hotchkiss at the free throw line. We'll see what happens on this free throw, and then maybe we'll get a look at what happened. Hotchkiss gets his first free throw. So let's take a look at this on the Traction AP replay. Schultz, he's just guarding Hubbard there and just bumped into Hotchkiss. And yet the foul was called, so Hotchkiss ends up making both of his free throws. Low scoring night, but it's a low scoring night for just about everybody so far. We're down to eight seconds. Lawyer with the ball. Fires a three. Got it. Late in the clock. Lawyer knocks it down. And that takes us to the end 
of the first quarter. Homestead with a three-point lead, but Huntington North keeping it close. We'll be back in just a moment here on SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, equal housing. Start of the second quarter as Fletcher Lawyer knocks down a three to close out the first quarter. We'll get you some updates on some of the other games going on here on Summit City Sports as part of the boys' sectional playoffs. Huntington North played host to girls' sectional basketball earlier this year. It featured the same schools that are here for boys' basketball. Vikings will start the second quarter with the ball down by three. Now, Homestead has committed eight fouls in this game. So the Vikings are already in the bonus. Hotchkiss off the fake. Vikings have only committed three fouls. Here's a corner three. That results in an air ball from Ashton Hostler. And here comes Lawyer. Finds his Akuto in transition. But the Vikings do a good job getting back on defense. Lawyer will direct traffic. It's a screen from Andrew Leeper. And he's picked up by Dylan Trout. Dishes it to the corner. Schultz gets fouled. No shot. The basket will not count. It's only the fourth team foul against Huntington North. Homestead will keep possession. Austin Oswald is back in for the Vikings. Long inbound as Akuto's got it. Lawyer going baseline. In traffic, threw it off the backboard, and it's out of bounds. He's claiming that the ball was tipped. Didn't see that it was. It's going to be Huntington North basketball in the end. Here's Hostler across the timeline. Lawyer picks him up defensively. That's nearly knocked away as Akuto was close. Huntington North come close to getting a few steals as Hubbard puts it in on the jump hook. Check that. It's Hotchkiss who puts it in. Will Hotchkiss with six points. Hubbard actually does not have a field goal, but Hotchkiss leads Huntington North in scoring for this game. Is Akuto the drive? Backs it out. Hotchkiss on him. Leaper for three. That's off the mark. Is Akuto with a second chance? No foul call. And is Akuto puts it home. Vikings score on an early possession, and Homestead's able to answer. Long pass across court. Hotchkiss goes back out to Hubbard. He'll try the three. That is good. Will Hubbard from downtown. Zach Hubbard, I beg your pardon. That's his first made field goal of the game, and here is Lawyer. Will rise up jump shot, and Lawyer's got it just inside the three-point line. Back and forth we go here at Bob Strait Court in Huntington, Indiana. Hubbard using the baseline, loses the ball. I think his Akuto knocked it away. And it looks like that's going to stay with Huntington North. Eric Hostler will check in for the Vikings. Quick catch and shoot. That one rolls right off for Hostler. And here comes Lawyer back down the court. 
Lawyer, step back three, no good. Hotchkiss has the rebound. And now Hubbard will try to bring it across the timeline for the Vikings. As Akudo picks him up. They got Dylan Trout posting up down low, and now he comes out to the top of the free throw line. Trout with it, trying to go to work against Kopwicki. Hotchkiss, tough shot, got it! Will Hotchkiss right around the defender. And Huntington North ties the game. That gives Hotchkiss eight points for the game. Here's his Akudo down the lane, blocked! That's Hubbard who swats it away. There's a kudo briefly down, but he's helped back to his feet. That's the Huntington North student section saying, you got swatted. As Tucker Day will check into the game. He's a six foot seven sophomore. And if he was on the right block instead of the left, I would say that he's probably about to catch a lob on the inbound, but that's not the case as Lawyer missed on the interior, battles with it, still loose, and eventually recovered by Hubbard. Hubbard will bring this one across the timeline. we got four and a half to go here in the first half. Out to Oswalt. That shot on the interior is good. Wyatt Dorman puts it home. And that gives Huntington North the lead at 19-17. Long pass across court. They get it back over to Kopwicki. Leaper's left open. He'll try a three, and it's good. Andrew Leaper dials it up from downtown, and the Spartans are on top. That gives Leaper seven points in the game. Well, fake passes. Hubbard gets it away. Dribbling inside is Dorman, and a foul is called. They call it on Lawyer. Here's Wyatt Dorman at the free throw line. He's hit two of his free throws so far and make it three as he ties the game with that one. Wyatt Dorman successful on the first free throw. Stands ready for the second. The next foul by Homestead will put Huntington North in the double bonus. Spartans have committed nine fouls. The Vikings have committed just four. But Dorman two for two here and the Vikings retake the lead. There's Lawyer back across the timeline. Back and forth game here at Huntington North. And who knows, we could see a similar event in our game coming up next between Southside and Columbia City. Traveling is the call on Kopwicki. He can't believe it. Well, Southside fans know what that's like. They uh, had a situation where Omarion Washington got called for traveling. And on the replay, it looked like he may have only taken one step. Everything's a judgment call at this level, though. There's lots of judgment calls that are going to be made no matter what level of basketball you're at, even in the pros, even with the expansion of replay and all that stuff. That's thrown right to Andrew Leeper. Now here comes Lawyer across the timeline. Leeper trying to attack the paint. Offensive foul. Drawn by Hubbard. Now, that was the 10th team foul on Homestead, but no free throws because it was an offensive foul. Hostler feeds that one off to Hubbard. Cutting across is Zach Nash. They get it to him on the interior, and then Nash is called for traveling.
and let it roll. There's 2.36 on the clock, and now Lawyer picks it back up. Lawyer guarded by Hostler. He'll fire the three, and it's good. Fletcher Lawyer hits his second three of the game. He's the first to reach double digits. Lawyer's got 12 points on the board. Poked away from behind. And then a timeout has been taken by Chris Johnson. I think that was Leeper who forced the turnover. That's the first timeout used by either team in this game. While they take one, we'll take one as well here on SummitCitySports.com. Homestead leading, but it's a close game here at Bob Strait Court on the campus of Huntington North uh, High School. Not to be confused with Huntington University, which is probably about a five-minute drive from here. It's not long ago at all. I'm a, uh, I happen to be a Huntington University graduate. And Huntington North was a very short drive from Huntington University Back when I was a student around here, as his Akuto fires a three, and it's good. It's raining threes for Homestead. I believe their last nine points have been from beyond the arc. Fletcher Lawyer got the last shot from downtown, and then I think right before that it was Andrew Leeper who knocked down a three. Hotchkiss, tough shot. That's off the glass. And Homestead can add to their lead with 90 seconds to go here in the first half. And winner of this game moves on to play New Haven. That'll be in the semifinals on Friday. And a foul is called as Lawyer slipped it off to Tucker Day. Zach Hubbard's back in. The 15th foul for Huntington North. Got a ways to go before. I beg your pardon there. It's not Homestead who's in the bonus. It's Huntington North who's in the bonus. They got into the bonus early in the second quarter. Homestead had already committed, I believe, seven fouls in the first quarter. As Izakudo misses and touched while it was out of bounds by Hubbard. So Homestead's going to get the ball back. One oh seven to go here in this first half. Little lob pass to Lawyer, and he's fouled from behind. That's going to be on Hostler. That's the sixteen foul against Huntington North. So now Homestead will be in the bonus on the next Viking foul. Zach Nash is coming to the game for the Vikings. Here's Kopwicki to put it in play. He's got Day on the inside. Instead, he passes it all the way across court to Izakudo. Lawyer or corral it with 55 seconds on the clock. And it looks like Homestead might be holding for the final shot of the first half. They got the final shot of the first quarter. That was when Fletcher Lawyer knocked down his first three. He dishes that one off to Leeper. Izakudo has Nash guarding him. And he'll give that one up to Leeper. Down to 24 seconds. Homestead in no hurry. They got this five-point lead in the quarter about to come to an end. Down to 11 seconds. Now Lawyer calls for it. 
Down to five seconds. Got to get something off soon. Lawyer attacks. Swings it out. Copwicky blocked. And that is how the first half will end. Huntington North gets a stop. Was there a foul? We do have a foul. Zach Hubbard called for the foul. Well, the Huntington North crowd not happy about that. I looked at first like a clean block and with just point one seconds. This is Kopwicki at the line, and he's either all alone at the line because it's point one seconds or there was a technical foul. I did not see a T signaled. But either way, Kopwicki gets both of them. Apparently there was a technical. They're going to give him one more. He got all three. And actually, I think they're saying he was fouled in the act of shooting, and he was shooting a three. So that's why he got three free throws. Now, when we get to halftime, which we're almost there, there was still .1 seconds on the clock, but now we're going to go right to halftime. It would be incredibly difficult to score with .1 seconds on the clock. Well, while we have a chance, we're going to take a look at that last play. We'll see, was there a foul? Oh, uh, yeah, looked like Hubbard did get him on the arm. Might have noticed Kopwicki's arm kind of jerked back there. So it looks like Hubbard did get him. So we stand right now at a 29-21 lead for Homestead. As we go ahead and get in some more words from our sponsors that allow us to come and do these games that we get to do here on SummitCitySports.com. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union, where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at profedcu.org. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenwellerContracting.com for more information. Homestead leads Huntington North at halftime here at Huntington North High School. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching high school playoff basketball right here on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, 
I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division III, Division II, or Division I level. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA Equal Housing Lender. We're at halftime here at Huntington North. Homestead leads 29-21. A few more words from our sponsors before we check out the stats for the game so far. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area from ages 5 to 18. Our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. 
a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit andersoncoolheat.com. And iCryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, infrared sauna, and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. Homestead on top, 29-21 to 21 at halftime. Got the first half statistics for you right here. Fletcher Lawyer is the leading scorer for this game for Homestead. He's got 12 points in the game. Andrew Leeper not far behind with seven. Ifani Izakudo with five. Kyron Kapwicki with three. He got those free throws toward the end of the first half. Grant Leeper has added two. And then for the visitors here in the gym, the Huntington North Vikings, even though this is their gym, they are the visiting team for this game. Will Hotchkiss is their leading scorer with ten points. Zach Hubbard has five. Wyatt Dorman has four. Cam McCarver has two. That's what the scoring looks like for both teams so far. And now while we've got a chance, we'll get in a few more words from our sponsors at SummitCitySports.com. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete, providing top notch. Excuse me, just a second. We'll come back to that one. Shioka Cleaning and Restoration Services provides top notch commercial cleaning and services throughout, including the janitorial, water damage, and state of the art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. For more information, Visit Siokas.com or call them at 260-483-2112. And now we begin the third quarter with Homestead taking control of the basketball. We get the rest of our sponsors when we get to our next break in the action. This is Lawyer with the dish to the corner. Leaper with the fake. This is back outside to Lawyer. Here's a pull-up three by Kapwicki, and he nails it. That didn't take long at all. Kapwicki extends Homestead's lead to 11. And for Kapwicki, that's his first made shot from the field in this game. Fake there, and then they try to work it over to Hostler, and then he dishes to Hotchkiss. Kick to the corner, a shot fake. They go back outside to Hubbard. Backing in is Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss turns around, no good. And a foul called on the rebound. That's going to be from behind on Cam McCarver. Wyatt Dorman will check in for the Vikings. Here is Fletcher Lawyer running the point for Homestead. They'll give that one up to Leeper. And Lawyer has the top score for this game for Homestead. But here's Kapwicki with the ball. Lawyer going to try and add to his score. He does. Back-to-back threes to start the half for Homestead. Fletcher Lawyer has got his third three of the game. And a timeout has been called. It's a 30-second timeout called by Huntington North. And for Lawyer, he's got 15 points. And now we're going to go ahead and get in our final word, or one of our remaining words from our sponsors here on Summit City Sports Medicine. This is SummitCitySports.com. It comes to us from Parkview Sports Medicine. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it is game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Lawyer went for the steal off the inbound, did not get it. That's nearly poked away. And a foul called from behind. That's going to be on Kopwicki. That's Kopwicki's second foul. Swing it over to the corner. That's Hubbard for three. Got it. 
Jack Hubbard trying to keep Huntington North in this one. That's his second three of the game. Both his made shots from the field have been from downtown. They swing this one over to Kopwicki, no pun intended. They say, what's, what's the pun there? The pun there was it was Grady Swing who made the pass. But there's Hubbard who gets the takeaway from behind. He fakes the shot. And Hubbard fakes the three. He had a screener right in front of him. It would have been a long three had he let it fly. That's poked away. Kopwicki got his hand on it. But the Vikings keep possession. And then there's a turnover forced by Grady Swing. Grant Leeper down low. Andrew Leeper switches places with Lawyer. And now Lawyer gets it. Looking for the lob to Grant Leeper. He made the catch, and Leeper couldn't finish, tips it around, and it's Dorman who comes up with a loose ball for Huntington North. And they can make this a single-digit game, even after Homestead had taken that 14-point lead not too long ago. That 14-point lead, by the way, was the largest lead either team has had in this game. Hotchkiss spinning around, blocked. Grant Leeper. Check that, that's Andrew Leeper. He's number 20, Grant's number 22 as Dylan Trout checks in for the Vikings. It'll be a Viking ball on the baseline. Oswald trying to put it in play. He does. He finds Dorman. And Huntington North will reset as they get the ball over to Ashton Hostler. Hubbard, pull-up jumper. Yes! Will Hubbard gets it to single digits. He's got 10 points for the game so far. That's five unanswered by Huntington North after the Spartans start out the half with six unanswered. Leeper sets the screen for Lawyer. Lawyer the behind the back dribble. Goes back outside to swing. They've got Grant Leeper down low. Lawyer going to use the baseline. He gets it to Grant, and Grant stuffs it. Grant Leeper with the jam. Oh, a technical foul. The technical foul was called right away, and they're calling it on Leeper. Well, I don't know if he said something on the way back. Uh, Will Hubbard's going to shoot a couple of free throws. But it looked like he let go of the rim. And Hubbard able to knock down the free throw. Well, we'll take another look at that here on the Traction AP replay. We'll see the dunk here in just a moment. They let go of the rim. Oh, it might have been an accidental run-in with one of the Huntington North players. Then again, he also might have said something or even thrown an elbow, done something extra. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Either way, for Hubbard, he goes two for two on that trip to the line, giving 12 points. And once again, it's a nine-point game. Homestead was champions of the Columbia City sectional a year ago. That featured all the same teams that are here at Huntington North for this sectional. Dorman, the feed. A little shot fake there by Oswald, and Oswald is fouled. The shot doesn't go. But two free throws coming for Austin Oswald. It's the third foul against Homestead. It's on Kyron Kapwicki. Here's Oswald at the line to shoot two. And he continues to cut into this deficit. Huntington North is on the comeback trail. And for Oswald, that's his first points of the game. Max Schultz will come in. I thought for a second he might take Kapwicki's place. Kapwicki has committed three fouls in the game, but he will not be coming out. A lead that was 14 is now down to seven. 
Leeper feeds it inside to Lawyer. Lawyer gets it away as he was going down. A foul is called on the Vikings. Eric Hostler is going to take Tech into the game. 3.09 to play. Inbound to Leeper. He's going to fire a contested three. That's no good. Foul on the rebound. See who the call is on. It's on Wyatt Dorman. So Homestead's going to keep the basketball. They get the inbound to Lawyer. Now check that. They wait to inbound and get it to Leeper. Lawyer with a defender right on him. Wants the step back and then draws the foul. Did Lawyer get called for the foul? Maybe they didn't call a foul. They might have called him for traveling instead. Chris Johnson thought that that should have been a foul on Huntington North. They throw it a long way across court to Hubbard. That's going to be a foul on his Akudo as he pushed down the screener. Dorman took that charge. That's the fourth team foul against Homestead. No free throws coming. That's Izakoto's first foul of the game. And Will Hotchkiss will check into the game for the Vikings. Into Hubbard. With the bounce pass to Hotchkiss, and Hotchkiss gets fouled by Kopwicki. And now he's got a chance to make this a one-possession game. Grant, or excuse me, Grady Swing will check into the game for Homestead, and this is Oswald to put it in play. He finds Hubbard. The pass inside. Hotchkiss off the glass. It's good. And Huntington North has made this a five-point game. They were down 14 not too long ago. That's 12 points for Hotchkiss. One of the top scorers for Huntington North in this game. This is Leeper down on the baseline, and Leeper's shot is good, and a foul. Call the foul on Zach Hubbard, so for Andrew Leeper... That gives him nine points for the game, and he'll complete the three-point play. 40-32 to 32 in favor of Homestead. Loose ball, Hotchkiss battling for it, puts up the shot. It's good. Will Hotchkiss able to stick with it. And he's got 14. The last four points for Huntington North belong to Will Hotchkiss. The Vikings have made quite the run here in the last few minutes. We're down to a minute and 17 seconds to go in the third quarter. Swing with a shot fake. Dishes that one off to Izakudo. Wonder if Homestead might hold for the final shot. Even though there's over a minute to go, there's no shot clock in Indiana High School basketball. Lawyer, the step back. Yes! Fletcher Lawyer knocks it down. And that gives him 17 points in the game. But now Huntington North could hold for the final shot. We'll see if they do.
Eric Hostler guarded by Lawyer. And then that's going to be a foul as Akudo once again knocks down a defender. He's committed two fouls that look very similar to that. That's his second foul total for the game as Hostler comes in. With 26.9 seconds to go, it is Viking ball, and they've got a chance to make this a six-point game or a five-point game. And by the way, that was the six-team foul against Homestead. Next one puts Huntington North in the bonus. They got Huntington North to the bonus in the first quarter. In the third quarter, they're close to getting them back to the bonus. Here's Hostler on the drive. And that's going to be an offensive foul. He threw out the elbow. So Homestead's going to take over, leading by eight. Just 4.2 seconds left to go. That's the five. That's the fifth team foul against Huntington North. And Eric Hostler reported into the Viking lineup. It is Spartans ball on the end line. Max Schultz was standing inbounds, and now he backs up out of bounds. Here's Lawyer racing down the court. He gets it off in time, and he hits the shot. Right before the buzzer, Fletcher Lawyer closes out the quarter with a three. Heck of a way to end the quarter as Lawyer had just four seconds, got down the court in a hurry, and got the shot off. We're back for the fourth after this. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watching skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level, catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA Division III, Division II, or Division I level. With that three before the quarter ended, Fletcher Lawyer is now up to 20 points for the game. And it's worth mentioning he's also hit four threes in the game. Huntington North was making a run. They had a chance to cut it down to a six-point, perhaps even a five-point deficit. But Lawyer changes all that. Here's McCarver. Wanted to give that up to Hubbard and nearly knocked away. Now Lawyer gets a piece of it, but is recovered by Hostler. Hostler swings it back to the top of the key. Seven twenty-six on the clock. They get it to Hubbard. Hubbard gets away from Schiltz. Good help side there by Leeper. Knocked away, out of bounds. Huntington North keeps it off of Grady's swing. They go inside. Hotchkiss backing down, draws two defenders. Hotchkiss, tough shot, no good. Schiltz has got the rebound. Here comes Lawyer across the timeline. Again, the guy who hit that three to close out the third quarter. He's got four threes in the game so far. This one from mid-range, and he'll knock it down. That gives Lawyer 22 points to lead all Homestead scorers. Leads all scorers no matter what team you play for. Hubbard gets away from the double team. And that's going to be a foul away from the ball, an offensive foul against Huntington North. I think they're going to call it on Oswald. T 
Timeout taken by the Vikings. They've got two left. 47-34 in favor of Homestead. We will be right back in just a moment here on SummitCitySports.com. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watching skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level, catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA Division III, Division II, or Division I level. Homestead on top of Huntington North. We got 6.31 to play here in the fourth quarter. Winner of this game will move on to the semifinals on Saturday. That'll be against New Haven. New Haven gets the first round by. Of course, this is part of the Class 4A Sectional 6 playoffs. Ball's knocked away and recovered. That was Ashton Hostler who got the takeaway for Huntington North. Foul is called away from the ball. It's going to be on Homestead. That three's not going to count. Foul was well away from the ball. Max Schultz called for the foul. That first free throw is good. And he hits both of them. Ball is poked away. And out of bounds. Inbound a lawyer. Lawyer has it guarded by Hostler, and he'll dish that one off to Leeper. Homestead not in any kind of hurry with this 11-point lead. Now here goes Grant Leeper, and he draws the foul. That's going to be on the shot. Each team has now committed seven fouls, so they're both in the bonus. Here in the fourth quarter, Grant Leeper going to the line. Leeper could not get that one to fall. Eric Hostler reports in to the now Eric Hostler, number four, checks into the game. He's a junior. Grant will be at the line for the second free throw. Ashton Hostler is a senior. Leeper goes 0 for 2 on that trip to the line, but an offensive board by Leeper. Grant Leeper gets his own rebound. And Lawyer will back this one out. Again, not in any kind of hurry with this 11-point lead. Technically, they could milk the clock down as long as they want to, but you don't see a lot of teams milking the clock all the way down with over five minutes to play. We've got 5.08 to play. Leeper posting up. This is swing. He's going to fire a three too strong. Offensive board by Schiltz. And the Spartans can continue to take some more time off of this clock. Screen and roll there by Grant Leeper. Lawyer backs it out. Schultz will dribble around. (laughs) 
Lawyer falls down. No foul was called. Homestead still milking time off the clock, and a lot of it. We're down to 4.15 left to play. Here goes Lawyer down the baseline, and he puts it in. Fletcher Lawyer with the blow by. And now a timeout's going to be called by head coach Craig Teagle. Well, Fletcher Lawyer has been putting on a show. Well, we've got the timeout. We might as well go ahead and show you his most recent basket. This is just a man-to-man defense, and Lawyer was able to beat his man right to the basket. Well, speaking of bang, 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 he's been going bang, bang, bang from beyond the arc. Fletch has knocked down four threes in this game, 24 points total. He's a Purdue commit, and he's trying to make sure that his Homestead Spartans end up playing against New Haven in the second round of these Class 4A sectional playoffs. Huntington North was down 14 in the third quarter. They cut it back down to a five-point game. But then Homestead was able to stretch it back out to a lead that's now 13. Here's McCarver. Has it knocked into the air by Schiltz. Off of him, though. Check that. That's Swing who knocked it out. Swing's number 14. Schiltz is number 4. Right over Schiltz. They get it in. 3.40 3.40 on the clock. Here's McCarver. He dishes that one off, a little shot fake. The floater is no good. Grant Leeper comes down with the rebound. Here comes Lawyer. He finds Swing across the timeline, and Swing will back it out. I believe Grady's older sister was Haley Swing, a former Homestead girls basketball star. The foul is called down low. I think they're going to call it on Ashton Hostler. And that's Hostler's fifth, so he is fouled out of the game. They'll send Fletcher Lawyer to the line to add to what has already been an impressive night. 24 points to lead all scorers for either team. By the way, Fletcher Lawyer is the only Homestead Spartan who averages double figures per game in points per game coming into this game. He'll hit both free throws. That gives him 26 points, and Homestead with a 15-point lead, their largest of the game. We got an up, update. Snyder and Northside are coming down to the wire. They're over at the Cal, but it looks like Snyder's up 58 57 with 37 seconds. I'd be interested to see as to who's got the ball there. I'm sure we'll be getting another update here shortly. Our good buddy Tim Atkinson's got that game tonight as a foul is called against the Spartans here. 251 on the clock. That was the eighth team foul against Homestead, so it'll send Will Hotchkiss to the free throw line. Again, his dad was an assistant coach at Huntington University. His father, by the way, is Jamie Hotchkiss, who I believe is an Indiana State trooper. Kyron Kaplicki will check into the game. Second free throw is good. And Huntington North makes it a 13-point game. Will Hotchkiss will have a nice finish to this one. He's got 16 points as it stands right now. But unless his team can muster a 13-0 rally or something similar to that in the next two and a half minutes, Huntington North's season is going to be all said and done. Now, Homestead certainly had the momentum coming into this game between the two teams. They had won nine straight. And Huntington North had lost four out of six. Finished the regular season with a good record, though, 14-9. Leeper not going to go baseline. 
Now he'll go to work, and he couldn't put it home. Swatted out by Lawyer, and then Lear ta- Leeper taps it right to him. It was actually Grant Leeper who kept it alive. Kopwicki backs it out, down to two minutes to go, out to swing. Leeper fell down, and they're duking it out down low. He's duking it out with Hubbard. Uh, they're not hand fighting here. They just uh, backed into each other, and that time it was Leeper who backed into Hubbard. And for Andrew Leeper, that is his third foul. And even though both teams are in the bonus, it was an offensive foul, so Huntington North is not going to get any free throws. Homestead did take a lot of time off of that clock. Huntington North has little time to waste. We're down to a minute 49. Here's Hostler. This is that one inside. That's McCarver. Got it! Tough shot by McCarver. And then a timeout called by Craig Teagle. Homestead with a 51-40 lead. Huntington North has scored the last four points, but we've just got a minute 42 left to go. And one thing that Homestead has done a good job of is ticking time off the clock the last couple times they've had the ball. Even the offensive rebounding has been really good. Star of the game has been none other than Fletcher Lawyer. He's got 26 points. And by the way, as far as the foul totals are concerned, the Vikings still have one foul to give, so to speak. They've already put Homestead in the bonus. I mean, they've got one foul to give before they get it into double, into the double bonus. Vikings have committed eight fouls. Spartans have committed nine. So the next foul by Huntington North would lead to one and one. I imagine they're not going to go for the foul right away, but if they don't get it after a few seconds on a steal attempt... And they may have to foul. Lawyer will put the ball in play for the Spartans. Gets it to Kopwicki. Lawyer finds Kopwicki across the timeline. Right now the Spartans trying to avoid being fouled. Loose ball poked away. Leaper gathers. 90 seconds to go and then Kopwicki gets fouled. That foul is going to be called on Eric Hostler. So now Kyron Kapwicki will go to the line to shoot one and one. That's the ninth team foul against Huntington North as Zach Nash is about to check in from the scorer's table for the Vikings. Kopwicki able to nail that first free throw. His second one is good. Kopwicki comes up big from the free throw line there. Huntington North trying to rally, but time is not on their side. A minute 20 left to go in regulation. Here's Hubbard on the drive. That looked like traveling, and it is. Yeah, he looked like he took a couple of hop steps, or at least one hop step, on that drive into the lane. A minute 13 left to go. Again, coming up next... We will have Southside versus Columbia City. Winner of that game moves on to take on Wayne in the semifinals here at Huntington North on Saturday. Winner of this game moves on to take on New Haven. New Haven played against Southside earlier this past week. Southside ended up winning that one. The only way those two teams would face each other is if they both make the championship. Meanwhile, Andrew Leeper gets fouled, and he's headed to the free throw line with 53.5 seconds left to go. Dylan Trout called for the foul. Shooting 
His free throw is good. Andrew Leeper will finish this game in double figures as Cam McCarver is checked into the game. Second free throw no good as Hubbard comes down with the board. High screen set by McCarver. Nash fires a three. It's short. Spartans have it. Down to 38 seconds on the clock. Lawyer avoids the foul. Gets across the timeline. Now they're trying to foul Leeper, and they do. That's going to be on Nash. So Leeper's going to go back to the line for two more free throws. Spartans are in the double bonus right now. They're in the double bonus last time around as well. That's Nash's first foul. And Leeper able to knock down that first one. Leeper goes two for two. Oswald on the drive, down the paint, blocked by Lawyer. But a catch and shoot three as the Vikings get a second chance. Cam McCarver knocks it down. Lawyer's going to bring it across the timeline, and that should do it. Homestead is moving on to the second round. Lawyer will just hold on to the ball, and if Chris Johnson gives anybody a game ball, it's probably going to go to Fletcher Lawyer. The Homestead Spartans knock off the Huntington North Vikings and win this one 56-43. to It was a close game early on, but the Spartans were able to pull away. And Fletcher Lawyer was a big reason for that. He's going to be our Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game. He scores 26 points, hits four threes in the game, including a couple of threes that were late in the clock. Fletcher Lawyer, your Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game. So Homestead will take on New Haven in the semifinals on Saturday. That'll be at 6 o'clock. And then in just a matter of moments, we'll have Columbia City versus Southside right here at Bob Strait Court at Huntington North High School. Until our next game, which is just in a matter of moments, for Andrew Shriver, this is Thad Goff saying so long. We'll see you in just a moment for Southside versus Columbia City right here on SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo.